What's up guys? Welcome to the vlog. I am so tired. I didn't sleep last night. I had a coughing fit at like 2 a.m. till about 4 a.m. So I wasn't really myself this morning. I got up in a bit of a rush. I still got up and did cardio after I drank like a bottle of NyQuil in the middle of the night and slept on the couch because I didn't want to wake Andrea up even more than I already was. Just play with my mustache a little bit. Is growing in strong. I did my cardio this morning, uh, 32 minutes incline, 7 to 8.0 uh, at about 3.7, 4.0 speed. Had my sweat belt on. I'm trying to do my cardio every morning fasted. So fasted cardio, I believe, is a lot better than uh, cardio. You know, you just, I don't know, I find you burn a lot more fat, you feel a lot better with fasted cardio in the morning. Then I came upstairs, I was in a rush for breakfast because I had a client at 8, it is now 10 p.m. or 10 a.m. right now. I had a client at 8 and 9. I had my breakfast, uh, my egg whites, oatmeal, and my fruit with uh, it was blueberries and apples I like a really balanced breakfast nice and clean with my fat burners I'm gonna walk you through today the things we do to help burn fat and really push just like eating clean and exercise those two things but there's also other things you can do on top of it sleep is a major thing to help control cortisol levels in your belly but which I didn't get last night so I'm a little tired but my leg is doing um, a little better I'm trying to that's actually a lot better what am I saying I'm I haven't gotten any results yet back from the doctor for the x-ray and the ultrasound Sound. I'm attempting to do a leg workout today. We're gonna see how that goes. I don't know if I should be, but I, can't, I still can't squat. I still can't do the dorsiflexion movement. So I'm gonna do some auxiliary exercises with my leg. Just something. It's better than nothing. But I'm not gonna push it. Other than that, I'm gonna show you how to eat clean and little tips to help with fat loss. So um, yeah, let's get on with the day. What's up guys? We are at my first snack of the day. This is three hours after I had my breakfast. I ate at 7.45. I'm a little behind right now. But I eat three hours after, that's my sweet spot. So I'm hungry. That feeling when you feel really hungry, that's literally burning fat. So find that throughout the day. Eat, time it, watch, monitor, don't snack. Snacking is the worst, just don't snack. Wait till you feel hungry and then push it for about 10 to 15 minutes after that. That's really gonna push the excess. You're gonna, you're gonna absorb everything that you eat. It's gonna really fuel your body, burning that excess fat. That is gonna be your time. My sweet spot is about two hours and 45 minutes. After breakfast, my breakfast is a little heavier. I eat three hours after, that's when I'm really hungry right now. I usually have two bananas. So I've already started eating it. Two bananas, 200 grams of bananas, almost about two bananas. Andrea took another banana, so I only have one banana. I'll say banana one more time, banana. And 40 grams of protein. This, 30 grams of scoop, and there is 36 grams in a scoop. So it's just over 30 grams of protein. I have that with 200 grams of banana, and then I don't eat for another two hours and 45 minutes after that. So I'm hungry when my first meal comes. I eat seven meals a day, including my first snack and my post-workout snack. This is just my number. This benefits me throughout the day. A lot of people can do five meal plans. I just fit seven in the day because I'm up really early. I'm going to go have a nap right now though because I am so goddamn tired and sleep throughout the night, and I really want to at least try and do a workout today on my legs. We'll see, but I'm not gonna eat for another two hours and 45 minutes, so I'm gonna try and nap for a couple hours maybe, and we replace the lighting here into like white lights now, so it's not this gross yellow color. We gotta do those next. But it looks good, no, you can really see this mustache really clear, so it's good. But um, yeah guys, wait and eat when you're hungry. Don't snack, that's the biggest mistake a lot of people do, they snack throughout the day so they never know when they're actually hungry because their body's constantly digesting the shit they snack on. So that's tip number one, for your first snack, space it out properly, I will see you guys when I'm up for my nap. What's up guys? So I just had a killer nap. I feel better. I feel a lot better now. For you guys tuning in for the fat loss information portion of this vlog, this right here is going to be the majority of the knowledge I'm going to drop on you. It's basically exactly what I do day to day with each meal. I'm not going to show you each meal, but I will show you. I will show you each meal, but this one I'm going to explain why I do everything. So here I have my Lions Fuel. So it's a meal prep company. I get three meals a day, seven days a week. Prep to my macros, exactly what I need. First step to fat loss, you need to find your caloric deficit. What you need to be eating macro-wise to be losing fat. Not too crazy. Everybody is different though, depending on your goal, where you're at. You need to justify it based on what you can actually achieve and what you can hit what you're comfortable hitting. This is my first meal of the day. So this is lean chicken. My veg is broccoli. I change it up weekly. 100 grams of broccoli, 120 grams of chicken, and uh, 175 grams of sweet potato. That's my good slow digestion carb. Full of potassium, it's great. I have three meals a day. This will be my pre-workout meal. That changes day to day, because days 
shit happens, things change, right? You can't go according to plan. So basically, you wanna eat your meal. There's a couple small little things you can do to help, and it all adds up. It's little steps that help you dive into this habit, things you remember, and they slowly help. Eating your meal, for instance. Eat protein first, and then your veg, and then your starchy carbs. It's how a compost works. It's how your body wants to digest it properly to relieve you of any indigestion and any problems. So this is it's such a little thing, you know? It helps with your digestion. Eat slow, pace yourself, drink water right here. That flushes the fat under your dermis, under your skin. Your body is made of majority water. Your body needs water, you need water. So hydrate as much as you can, track it. Get a large ass bottle of water, anything to track it. Whatever helps, track your water. Take in as much water as you can. If you think you're drinking enough, drink more. There's always more, puts you into a flush mode and you flush all the toxins out and it helps with fat loss. Next step, you're eating clean. You have your, you know, I'm having my chicken, I'm having my veg, I'm having my potato. I'm eating clean, I'm spacing all my meals properly. I'm explaining this to you guys, it's 1.39. I'm supposed to eat at 1.45. People wait to different times to eat. My girlfriend eats every two hours. That's when she gets hungry. That's when her body tells her she needs to eat. I don't get really hungry until about two and a half hours. I push it an extra 15 minutes to push that extra fat loss, that extra burn. So I take in all the nutrients when I eat. That is two hours and 45 minutes. By the time I'm done talking, I'm gonna eat about five minutes. So yeah, space out your time, no snacking in between. I was sleeping, so I couldn't snack. Uh, my days are really long. I wake up and train clients in the morning, and then I'm up with, uh, like throughout the day, midday too. And then I'm up with the social media stuff, like YouTube and Instagram, content creation, later at night. So it makes for a long day, so I try and get in naps throughout the day. I just, I need my sleep. I can't function, I can't recover to train and talk to you guys. So you're eating clean, that's all done. You're good to go, right? Next step. You're still not losing too much fat. You're still at a kind of a plateau. Fat burner. I love this one by Tech. I chose Tech because their supplements are great. They have three amazing supplements. Their fat burner, it's not loaded with crazy amounts of stims, so you don't get twitchy, you don't get that crash feeling, no crash. Appetite suppression, and it helps with digesting, you know, digest. Fat burners help with digesting fats and proteins properly, whereas storing fats it limits that, helps burn fat as energy. And like for instance, green tea extract, caffeine, there's not too much caffeine, there's only like 300 mg per serving. I have three pills in the morning with my breakfast. I'm good throughout the day, because I like to have coffee, so I don't have too much, because caffeine can make you crash. I do take an adrenal support pill for uh, my adrenal glands, because I find if I'm taking too much caffeine, my body tends to crash. Adrenal support is a great way to go if you're feeling like, you know, tired, drawn down. It's really good. Appetite suppression, next step would be a fat burner. It helps. I like them. Great add to your stack for fat loss. We covered water. We covered clean eating. We covered spacing out your meals properly. No snacking. This little guy here, this dirty water, Apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons in about eight ounces of water. It's Bible to me. Like, this is... That I love this, I believe in this. It's something called insulin sensitivity. Your pancreas releases insulin. Insulin decides whether your body stores this carb that you're intaking as fat or lean muscle. If you're not working out hard, you're in a sedentary, uh, sedentary job, you're storing a lot more you're, not, you're burning less, your metabolism might be lower. As soon as a carb touches your body, your pancreas says, holy shit, I have to release insulin. It doesn't know how much to release, so it just releases a ton. Better more, you know, better safe than sorry. If you're not depleting your glycogen properly with workouts and whatnot, the extra carb will store as a fat instead of into the lean muscle tissue that you want. Insulin sensitivity and training your pancreas how to react when you in, like intake a carb is amazing. The, the response has been phenomenal. Like my mother, she lost like eight pounds in three days just doing this. And uh, it was like, it brought her bloat down and everything. So two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, have it with, you know, all the meals you can, like breakfast and my three meals, I have it with four meals a day. Two tablespoons in water, I have it after, you can have it during, it's kinda gross, so I don't like it during my meal, it kinda ruins it. But after your meal, haul it back, you're good to go. Um, spices, they're called, uh, like spices like cinnamon and whatnot, so apple cider vinegar and say cinnamon on your oatmeal in the morning, those are called insulin inhibitors. They tell your pancreas to react, it's like, yo, don't, uh, don't overreact, bro, like don't release as much insulin as you're going to do. This is okay, you're gonna live, you're gonna be okay. You release less, you store less fat. It teaches your body to store less fat, fat and properly store excess carbs as muscle, like in muscle tissue. It's kind of, it's different to explain, but I love it. I've learned about it. I trust it completely. It's helped me. It's helped people around me. And there's no excuse. I can't bring apple cider vinegar around me. Keep a bottle at work with you. Keep a bottle in your via, whatever. You don't need to, um, you don't need to refrigerate it. Most of the time I don't. And keep one at work with you. Keep one at your house. I'm home all the time. I have no excuse. I have it after my meal and it helps. So insulin sensitivity control is crucial, I find, to fat loss. And it really, really helps. It's Something to try out if you're not 
happy with your progress, try it out. So um, yeah, those are the main things. And then I'm basically just gonna show you what I eat. So guys, like this, these are all things you can add in. It's all, it's never too much. These are things that you can grow throughout your day. You can build a habit day to day with these different things you can do for fat loss. They all help. I stack them all together because I love it and I have no excuses. This is my life, fitness is my life. So it helps, I swear by it. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys try it out, comment, let me know. And yeah, so let's carry on with the vlog. All right guys, so outfit details. I got my brown Chelsea boot, skinny ripped jean, badass Drake fur coat because it's cold as hell in Toronto, brown rig fit hat, basic, and my basic black tee, v-neck. I just like, I like plain v-necks. It's cold as hell in Toronto. Ate my meal, I'm feeling better. I'm going to meet with a company about uh, a collaboration. They're gonna help me out with my trip to Vegas this Sunday. Uh, I think I'm gonna use their luggage. They have some badass aluminum luggage that will keep my stuff safe. So I'm excited to pick that up. They look really cool. That's about it. Oh, and what I forgot to tell you guys, when I mentioned Lion's Fuel, like the meal prep, time management is a massive thing when it comes to fat loss and excuses, right? People, I don't have time. Uh, if looking to a meal prep, a lot of them are affordable. This one just so happens to be only in Toronto, but uh, a lot of them are affordable. They're worth looking into. It limits those excuses. pre prep meals, pre weighed out. It's just really helpful. It's something to definitely look into in your area if you don't have time. So I'm going to get this luggage. I will see you guys after. anniversary well this isn't the bag but this this bag is celebrating its 80th anniversary cool so the company's been Love around it. since 1898 but this particular bag was built in 1937 like this wow. this design yeah I love it. it's cool right yeah it's awesome they're not they're not that they're not that, that bad they're just uh you're a big boy you can handle it how are you doing i'm good man i'm good that's good man that's good All right, so I'm back at the condo. I want to thank Ramoa for giving me that badass luggage for Vegas. They also hooked me up with a bunch of uh, oatmeal. A bunch of oatmeal, so I stay on track even when I'm away. They know what's up, no excuses. So um, yeah, I want to thank Ramoa. That's a hell of a bag, it's gonna be a good time. Now it is time to clean this mess. My girlfriend is gonna kill me, the condo is a mess. So I'm going to vacuum and wash the floors and whatnot, and we'll see you when I'm done. Voila! I'm Martha Stewart of this bitch. It is now clean. These are the bulbs for this light as we replace that lighting. I told you. Sickest setup ever. PlayStation for me. Kardashians for my girlfriend. So the thing is guys, happy wife, happy life. I cleaned the condo. The thing about a small condo is it gets dirty very fast, but also it's quick to clean. So she comes home happy. We're all happy. Celebrate, kiss, makeup. We're good. I am now eating my Second meal, I didn't get a chance to work out right away. I had to train a client. I had to go get that luggage. Got the luggage, train a client, and now I am getting to this meal here. So this, guys, I am eating during my caloric deficit. So I am doing three days lower carb in my deficit that I explained earlier, and one day high carb, like a refeed. That is a basic carb cycle. That is what I'm doing right now. So what you're seeing now is during my lower cycle. So I'd be eating a lot more sweet potato during my high day. So I'm gonna eat this meal, which is a cup of white rice, I'm gonna throw a bit of uh, low sodium soy sauce on it, 120 grams of chicken and veg. I don't know what it is. I think it's zucchini and carrot that are uh, sliced or just, uh, I, can't, I can't think of a word. I don't know. Really good though. I'm going to eat that. This is now, t it's 4.36, so I'm supposed to eat at 4.30. Two hours, 45 minutes for my last meal. Like I said, I'm starving now, especially cleaning, slaving away, I'm starving. So I'm gonna eat that. There's something else I had to tell you. I can't think of it. I'm gonna attempt to do legs after. Oh yeah, we got this uh, really cool setup. I'm gonna set up this ring light so um, you guys can see this beautiful mustache clear and you know, it's just really nice. That's good. Yeah, I'm gonna eat and then I have another client at 5.30 and then I'm gonna train after that. We'll see you guys then.
What's up guys? So I have good news, really good news. Just worked out, ended up getting a leg workout in. I was really happy, which you've probably just seen actually with the feeling of it. Uh, the leg extensions hurt a little bit on the shin, but other than that, my depth for my leg press wasn't too bad. I could actually push weight, super, super exciting. Really happy about that. Broke a sweat, it was awesome. Key points about uh, exercise for fat loss and kind of like a lean bulk thing. Like I couldn't really push too heavy with that workout. So uh, short rest, keep it within, you know, 45 seconds or even less. Keep your heart rate elevated. Don't let it get down to resting rate. As soon as it's coming down, spike it back up, hit that set. Short rest time, change your rest time up. Change your rep range too. So at the start I was having like high rep, 20 reps, kind of heavy too. And then I changed it up to like between 12 and 15 reps. Change your sets up, change your exercise program and routine and don't get into a plateau every like four to eight weeks. Be sure to change it up. Keep shocking your body, change it up, change up your weights, pyramid sets, supersets, all that's key to fat loss. I like hitting arms. I don't have an arm day. So I like hitting arms at the end of each workout. I'm on a five day split, three on, one off, two on, one off. So I hit an arm workout, either high rep, lighter weight like this or low rep, heavier weight on the end of each workout, a bicep and a tricep. My triceps are a little sore from yesterday, so I didn't hit them today. You just play it by ear. Your body will tell you what's up and what you can and can't do. As for post-workout nutrition, here get that window in within you no know, 30 minutes 45 minutes after your workout carbs protein I have BCAAs left in there I'm gonna do 50 grams of protein in here and put that in my mouth and then I do 40 grams of carbs uh, these rice cakes are the Lundberg ones they're a little heavier so it's only two of them regularly if you were to use the Quaker ones it'd be four of them and then uh, I do two tablespoons of apple butter it makes it less dry really really good this is really clean it's a little expensive but it's really worth it apple butter is great tastes awesome so I'm gonna get that into me it's 713 I'm not gonna wait the full two hours and 45 minutes because my metabolism sped up as you can see right now I'm really like stimmed up from my pre-workout and whatnot. So I'm gonna eat two hours after this. That'll be my second last meal, but I'm gonna sum it up for the rest of the night because I wanna get this vlog edited. So uh, that'll be my post-workout nutrition tips and my workout for fat loss tips. I will see you at the next meal, guys. So I am on the last meal of the night. It is nine o'clock. I am tired, I'm beat. I am having extra lean ground beef, about 180 grams of that. Cup of white rice. I'm gonna have two tablespoons of organic ketchup on that. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in here. I had it with my last meal, but I didn't show you guys. This is my last meal of the night. I'm really, really tired. Generally, I'd have another snack after this about two and a half hours after this if I'm up late or something it'd be something fattier you want to feed your body while you're sleeping so lean towards the fattier stuff the good fats before bed and some little fact for you uh, sodium is actually the second most anabolic substance under insulin so guys if you're having sodium before bed have you know your salted rice cake make sure it's salted before bed it's a really cool little tidbit and another thing I want to talk about was cortisol for this belly so this lower strip here a lot of people have a problem with that little belly think of it as a belt cortisol builds up over stress and just over time lack of sleep any of that tons of things can build that up you just have to relax relax de-stress you need to make that time for yourself you can stress all day and all night about fitness nutrition and being in a shape whatever that cortisol belly that's gonna happen when you are actually lean and when you're not is not gonna go away unless you just relax de-stress make time for yourself so I tend to have about two baths a week I'm gonna have one after this well about an hour after this with uh, Epsom salt just relax put my phone away pick up a book and just de-stress I need that time for myself about twice a week really helps flat in the tummy and uh, it helps draw water out of your body too it's a cool feeling but everybody make sure you make that time for yourself you guys deserve it you're hard-working individuals I'm sure it's good so I want to thank you guys for watching I really appreciate it I hope you liked it if you want to share this that would be amazing show some people show some family members friends anybody interested in diet nutrition who want to lose a bit of fat or just learn something new I really hope that I took I, I can teach you something so yeah th that's my day this is my day so guys don't forget to hit that subscribe smash that like button share it and any questions, comments, concerns, write them in the comments. That's it, guys. So I'll see you next time. I'm going